Welcome back to Browns All Access with Hugh Jackson, Nathan Zagura, Bernie Kozar, and Bernie, they say the NFL's a next man up mentality. Well, Christian Kirksey had been a starter, played every snap last year, but had to slide into that all-important middle linebacker role. I thought had just a phenomenal game in the middle of that defense against the Bucs. I think that's the mark of a fantastic player and when it's a reoccurring theme that he keeps coming up on the show. Throughout the course of preseason, the first uh, half of the season, now we're getting into basically the halfway point of the year, Kristen Kersey, somehow, someway, each and every week, no matter what position he's playing at, not only does he make a couple of plays, he's making defining plays for us. And now Christian Kersey sits down with our Sir Andrew Gribble for an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. I'm Andrew Gribble here with linebacker Christian Kirksey. And Christian, I know you've got the pulse of this team as well as anyone as the captain of this group. How, how would you say the team's mindset is after another tough loss like that in Tampa? Well, uh, it's interesting because I was just talking to my teammates uh, earlier today. Uh, we're sitting at 2-4-1, um, but we haven't lost a division. And, you know, when you still have the Steelers, then we still have, you know, the Ravens one more time in Cincinnati uh, twice. You know, uh, all our goals are still in front of us. Um, I'm a guy that's super optimistic, and I think that, you know, every game is winnable. So from this point on, it's like, all right, let's set a new goal. And that's, you know, 11, four and one, yeah. you know? Um, and I think that this mindset of this team is, okay, we're just trying to find a way to get over that hump and find a way to, you know, finish ball games. You know, being um, four games over time, and, you know, that's a lot of wear and tear on your body, but it just goes to show you the fight in this team and the fight in these men in this room. He takes a high snap. Winston throws right down the middle, and that is picked off. Christian Kirksey is second of the year, and in as many weeks. You mentioned the, the wear and tear. The defense played a season high, 95 plays in Tampa in the hot sun. You guys have had a lot of games with a lot of plays. How are you feeling physically, and how, how do you see guys holding up through all well, this? Well, as a professional, you know, you got to, you know, stay in the training room. Um, not for, you know, injuries or anything, just, you know, stand on top of your body, you know, uh, maintenance uh, with your body. So, uh, you know, I feel good. I'm used to it. Uh, you know, I've played numerous of steps, you know, through my career to where, uh, you know, defense is always on the field. So my body is kind of adjust to it. Um, and, you know, you just got to carry yourself as a professional. Build our best, nothing left. We win this week, man. Hey, it's still this week. We got to go harder, man. Let's go. One, two, three! One, two, three! One. You mentioned earlier the, the division. You guys are still in the thick of it. You got a big one this week uh, in Pittsburgh. First time you guys are going to be facing a, an opponent for the second time in the year. What, what kind of advantages is it for a defense and how much confidence do you guys have from, from how you played week one against it? Well, for week one, I mean, we really was going off a of preseason film and, you know, last year's film that we're playing them. And now going and playing them a the second time, we know who they are. You know, uh, you know, we have a lot of games that we can watch that they played this year. So now we can say, okay, they do this, they do that. And we know they're key players that they go to. And like you said, we already tied them for the first game. So now we really can go in and, and master our game plan because we know, okay, this is what they did to us last time. This is what hurt us in the game last time. This is probably what they're going to go to from last time that worked for them. So now we can really game plan and really see, all right, how can we attack this team? So. Um, I'll be ready, you know, this team will be ready to go against Pittsburgh. It's always ramming it up a notch once we go against Pittsburgh, so it'll be a lot of fun. You see Christian Kirksey leading with his play on the field, but also a leader in the huddle. Gets these junkyard dogs fired up. What have you seen from him just in his development as really the guy to kind of galvanize this defense? Well, in the junkyard dog mentality, it's one thing when you're talking a game and you're the vocal leader of it. But what really makes it extra special is when you're doing a lot of that talking, that his play backs it up. And he's making big plays and backing up that leadership talk. And that's what I really get impressed with, is seeing him game in and game out making a defining game-winning play. Yeah, he's had his hand in three takeaways in the last two games alone. The Browns defense taking the ball away 20 times this year, most in the NFL. Now, don't you go away, because we'll be back with more of Browns All Access with Hugh Jackson. The Browns tied a franchise record by playing their fourth overtime game this year. What other year did the team also play in four overtime games in the regular season? Was it A, 1980, B, 1989, C, 1994, or D, 2002? Find out the answer when Browns All Access returns. 